all right how's it going everyone today derek here welcome to my youtube channel uh talk to you today about essentially uh recycling old cars so if you want to do it or you have been doing it essentially you'll be surprised that over time if you consistently do it that there is quite a bit of money in doing this so essentially because the fact is not a lot of people are buying newer vehicles um could be the fact that it's more convenient to buy parts off of someone else that's available essentially whatever the case may be but essentially um talking today a little bit about buying vehicles and recycling them so obviously you can go through craigslist facebook ebay and buy vehicles um do your research obviously depending on where you live but if you live in the rust belt like here you have the problems on the rockers where they rusted all the time i didn't pay very much for this like 300 dollars for this so but uh essentially if you kind of know what you're doing you can make a lot more money than that so in order to make a lot more money for people that don't know essentially is is taking parts off that are more available and that are actually worth more to people so basically on this truck that's a bit worth more would be this this fender right here because they usually they rust down right here since this had runners on it it's got very little rust so this is actually a decent part i know from the sun it gets damaged um on these ford trucks essentially those fenders uh obviously you pull the catalytic converters off because of platinum that's a good precious metal to have so um otherwise would be some of these doors can be but this one's rusted out essentially here um transfer cases can be um kind of more in the chevy line um transmissions kind of all around the board on that and if we come to the back here essentially what sells kind of more i pulled it off already but essentially the tailgate gets sold off i would say that if you're on a farm and this is what usually what trucks are going to be used for in Minnesota is for farm use so they get bashed in loaded on dinged up throw down whatever the case is those are worth money these rear bumpers well I took it off but rear bumpers are worth money it's the same ordeal they get dinged up hit essentially on the back same with these rear tail lights too but uh um otherwise when it comes to rear axles and 4x4s, um, that kind of swings either way. Half-ton trucks seem not to sell very good. It's more when you get into three-quarter ton and one-ton trucks is where the rear axles sell a lot more. But uh, for 4x4s, it's more Chevy line. Um, I'm not trying to downgrade Ford or anything. It's just they have a better system when it comes to that and they're more reliable than Fords are but uh, essentially um, still these Ford trucks still sell good for parts and they're still being used quite a bit so but depending on where you go or where you live in the world too is uh, your, your metal recycling is based on uh, essentially the state or uh, the recycler itself depending on the weight and value of that too so that kind of being said that's kind of a little bit of an overview of buying used parts or vehicles that are in the weeds that are available for parts for little money and then making more money through recycling and selling car parts essentially so um, I kind of hope that helps a little bit with a background in whatever you're doing so hope this helps a bit and thank you